African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation in Ukraine the 14th of November, 2022, the armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupant's direction, two company tactical groups of the armed forces of Ukraine made unsuccessful attempts to attack Russian forces towards Kuzumovka, Lugansk People's Republic. Firepower operation has resulted in halting and driving the enemy units back to their initial frontier. Over 120 Ukrainian personnel, six tanks, five armored fighting vehicles, three armored personnel carriers, and five motor vehicles. In Krasny Lyman direction, intensive action of Russian forces has resulted in repelling an attack launched by two mechanized infantry companies of the armed forces of Ukraine, reinforced by foreign mercenaries, towards Chervino-Popovka, Lugansk People's Republic. Over the past 24 hours, the enemy has lost up to 90 personnel and militants, five armored fighting vehicles, and six pickups in the above-mentioned direction. In South Donetsk direction, intensive action of Russian forces and artillery units has resulted in the prevention of an attempt made by a mechanized infantry company of the armed forces of Ukraine to launch an attack towards Novosyolka, Donetsk People's Republic. Over 80 Ukrainian personnel, one tank, two infantry fighting vehicles, two armored personnel carriers, and three motor vehicles have been eliminated. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops, and artillery have neutralized three armed forces of Ukraine command posts near Kupiansk, Kharkov region, Stelmakovka, Lugansk People's Republic, and Chernobyevka, Kherson region, as well as 54 artillery units at their firing positions, manpower, and hardware in 174 areas. Two U.S. manufactured and slash TPQ-50 counter-battery warfare radars have been destroyed near Zelenigai, Kharkov region, and Aleksandro Kalinovo, Donetsk People's Republic. One radar for Ukrainian S-300 air defense missile has been destroyed near Volnyansk, Zaporizhzhia region. One armament and hardware depot of the armed forces of Ukraine has been destroyed near Lvovo, Kherson region. One storage of fuel for armed forces of Ukraine hardware has been destroyed near Kharkov. Within the counter-battery warfare, Russian artillery has neutralized two batteries of MRS and Alka multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, near Kerpatino, Zaporizhzhia region, and Borozenskoy, Kherson region. Air defense facilities have destroyed six unmanned aerial vehicles near Krasnorechenskoy, Peskanoy, Zolotoy, Lugansk People's Republic, Valerianovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Burchak, Zaporizhzhia region. Moreover, three rocket-propelled projectiles launched by Mars MLRS have been intercepted near Melovatka, Lugansk People's Republic. In total, 333 airplanes and 176 helicopters, 2,504 unmanned aerial vehicles, 388 air defense missile systems, 6,593 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 891 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 3,577 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 7,216 units of special military hardware have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.